Hey guys, okay, so today we're gonna be learning how to make a uh, map generation by command. So basically, if you say like load map one, then it'll load the map that's called map one, or load whatever your map name is, and it'll just put that map. Okay, so as you can say, as you can see, I mean, um, we've already made, I've already made the preparation before this video, and we have a map holder here. This is basically where your map is going to be put once you say, like, load map 1. Um, and then we have a map location. So this is basically where your map is at in the game. So wherever, wherever this part is located, the map will be on top of it. Okay, so you can put this part anywhere in, in your game and it'll be there. Okay, so then we have the, in server storage, we have the maps folder. This is basically holds, um all the maps that, that you want to be loaded. So I've already made maps. Well, they're not really maps. They're just one part. Um, just for example, I have map 1, map 2, and map 3. Or map 1, map 2, and map 3. Okay, um, we'll be loading these later. You can put as many as you want. Alright? Okay, so now we have a script that I've already made. I'll go, um, I'll tell you what all this means later, but this is basically what uh, makes all of this happen. Okay, so before we go into the script, I'll show you how this works exactly. So we'll go in, and then we'll say, uh, let's see here, we'll say load map 1. There, load it. Load map 3. Load map 2. Okay, what if we don't want a map? We can just say clear, and it's gone. Alright, so let's go ahead and go into the script. Alright, so basically, um, the first thing I did was uh, declare a variable that says where where are the maps. So the maps are in the game, and then they're in the server storage. Okay, and then in the server storage, it's the maps folder. Alright, so then we say once once a player is added into the game, Alright, um, so by the player added uh, function, we say, we're trying to say, uh, or not trying to say, we said, if they chatted, then we're gonna see what their message is. Alright, so we're gonna find the, um, the colon in their, in their message. If there is a colon, that means they're trying to, maybe they're trying to make a command. Alright, so then we're, and then here we have a, another variable called command. Um, then we say we want the, we want the characters from the very first, fr from the be very beginning of the message until wherever the colon is at. Alright, okay, so if that, from the very first, um, from the very beginning of the message until the colon, if it, it is, um, if it's load, alright, then, uh, we'll continue. If it's not, then it won't do anything. Okay, now in the, now in the command, we want the map name that we want to load. So, I've made a variable here called map name. Okay, so this is a little bit complicated. So basically, we want um, to find the whatever text is after the colon, alright? So notice here I said uh, minus one, so basically this is everything that's before the colon. Here I said plus one, so this is everything that's after the colon, alright? So um, here we did another uh, string that G sub. Basically, we're removing all the uh, all the spaces in the in the message just to avoid any issues in the command. All right. So now here in the we in the if statement we say if if the maps folder has a child that's called whatever the map you say. So basically, if it's called map three, if we say load map three, all right. If it does, then um, the first thing we'll do is 
we're obviously about to load a map so we don't want uh we want we don't want the previous map anymore right all right so we move the workspace that map holder so this is where all the this is where the loaded map is going to be at so we clear whatever is inside it so clear all children okay then we make a copy of the map that we want the new map so we say um maps maps find first child and then we say the map name okay so i as i did here string dot lower I advise that you make all your maps lowercase just in case that once someone is trying to load a map they don't accidentally mess up because their command is different than you, whatever your command uh, whatever your map name is and they'd be confused all right so we take that map and we clone it okay we make a copy of it and then we have uh, we have here map copy then dot parent so this is basically where we're moving it to this is where its parent is going to be and as we said here map holder in in workspace okay now once we parent it to the map holder we want to we want to tell the game to put the map in um in a certain position and we've already prepared a position for it which is on top of uh the map location part so we say workspace dot map location, which is this part that we've already pre um, prepared, dot position. So it's um, it'll be in its position. All right. So yeah. And then if we don't have a colon in our command, we we go other. Um, otherwise, we'll just is the um, is the message uh, clear? Like, did the person say clear? If they did, then we'll clear the map holder of all its children, like of all whatever, of all the maps it has, which it should be only one. All right. Um, let's go ahead and test it one more time, just so that you know, um, you see how it works once you've seen the script. So as we said here, load, then we put the code in so that the um, so that the game knows it's a command and then uh, map one this is the name of the map as we have in server storage so there you go load it then clear see it doesn't have a colon so it goes to the else if so if it's clear did we say clear then it will remove everything all right so basically I uh, I've made this really quick, and I guess I explained really quick. I'm not sure if it helped, but this is um, this is a simple way to do it. There is a lot of other ways, um, but yeah. If you have any questions, comments, or anything, go ahead and comment below, and uh, feel free to um, like and subscribe. See you in the next video.